Hello, my name is Stefan, and in this lecture, we are gonna look for strings. And let's start by opening Jitter project by double clicking on the Jitter run that bat. And after that, here we are seeing this kind of dialog here. Welcome screen, click on the close, and here we will come to file new project here. Searching for strings in Alina here. String search Alina malware. And this is the project name for us. And after that, we will drag and drop our exe file, or you can press on the E on your keyboard and just select this your malware here and that's it here we have formats we will select the portable executable by default we have language obviously we don't we can't change it because Hydra already knows it that it is it, it has compiler called visual studio here and program name is spark.exe so this is just a representation um, so it actually this this is this name is just for you so you can change it anything you want more descriptive names like Alina malware or post malware here click on ok and loading language here yeah importing the file here we are seeing what is happening with Jidra and it might take like 10 or 20 seconds depends on your computer specifications and it's done we have the import results summary as always we will click on ok and after that we will right click on the post malware and we will click on the open in default window after that Jira will ask us uh, do you wanna analyze this so of course we wanna analyze this and here it is checked by default we will not touch anything for now and we will click on the analyze after that it might take some time here in the right bottom corner of the screen you can see the progress and while our progress is running we can just scroll that down. Let's increase the font size a little bit for you. We have the undefined thing function here. We have several codes. It's almost the compiling here. The loading process is here. Let's get the call functions here. Push and here. So it's almost done here. We are just playing with it. And let's actually check the functions and imports from the symbol tree can we increase the font size a little bit no sorry and here we have the win init so here we our program our malware is using some of the internet protocol libraries so this might told us that our program has access to internet or sending something here and as you can see it's almost all http so it means our malware is using port 80 http protocol and our loading is almost done here let's also check the another imports url man so we have the url download of file a so this means our program can also install something install the files or programs from internet we have the kernel 32 dll win init again and internet read file internet open connect close handle 
and so on we have url man url download to file and at the vapid or the tomb this is also manipulating for registry keys control service create service a and so on analysis fund yes and that's it our analysis has been done and after that let's start by uh going to search here search menu here and at the bottom here we have search for strings and you will not touch anything because we don't want we want uh, the minimum length of five so and alignment one and word model string model add sng so you can also change the word model if you have uh, one but probably this hydra's word model will work and after that we will click on search and here as you can see we have several strings here so we will go to we will search for it and find something interesting here you can also use the filters for example if you want to like that exa here let's and here we have the several exes strings our program has connection with those exa files and here we have the win defender that exa here so we will check that address location for f 647a and that's it and here as you can see we will get our marker here we have this let's actually use different here so we have this installed win defender that exe we have oh shell code mutex might be interesting right and we also have sstt hook that pdb and we have that uh, password might be interesting right password and this program cannot be run in ds mode and so on and we should also have something like that's it and here we also have the desktop alien here ben c users desktop alien source working their back spark.pdp as shown here the user benson seems to have compiled this malware so this information could be useful to investigate the attribution of uh, this malware so there are a lot of suspicious strings here right so this alien here is probably the compiler of this malware transparent so alan the some someone that account named alan on a windows machine compiled this malware and we have the benson this is the computer name the machine name so machine name benson and username is alan and we have some suspicious password here like after password we have the probably the real password here let's also oops sorry let's also take this and this is some suspicious password let's note it down here uppercase y h n g y l e o zero nine h uppercase and trans frame with white background so this is uh, some password here and we have the shellcode mutex and ssd hook that pdb here and here for instance so it's hard to imagine 
the reason behind the legitimate program making reference to Win Defender here, right? So it's also making some reference to Win Defender. So it's probably the bad program here, right? The malware. And also here, the shellcode.mutex, shellcode.mutex and Win Defender here. So it's especially so shellcode.mutex and the uh, system this SSDT here. So let's let me note it down. SSDT, SSDT here is system service ser service dispatch table. So also just making regular program hooking this to this service. Mm. The references are both explicitly malicious and a quick overview of these strings of the program can sometimes reveal whether it is malware or not without further analysis and simple and powerful 